Don McKegg has a Scottish name and a love of Italian food. When he was a young boy, he spent time in the kitchen with his Italian maternal grandfather, Arturo Nickley. He fell in love with pasta, tomatoes, and pizza, pizza that you make from scratch with high quality ingredients. He is now the owner of a Vancouver pizzeria named after his grandpa called Nickley Antica. It is my pleasure to welcome Bill McKegg to Studio 4 to tell us more. Hi. I'm assuming it's named after grandpa, grandfather. It is. It is, it mm. is indeed. Um, Nickley Antica Pizzeria. Antica is, uh, is authentic. Nickley after my grandfather, uh, honoring him. And, uh, and my desire to make fantastic pizza. Yeah, take me back to your youth with grandfather. Oh, wow. Uh, one of my earliest memories with him is, uh, is the smell of cooking zucchini flowers. Oh, um, the best. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. And it, we had, uh, he had this gigantic garden uh, at, at my place, or, or at my dad's place. And then Another one at his own place. He he had so much mm. going on when, in the way of gardening. I'm sure so, figs, and, um, uh, lots and lots of lots tomatoes. of figs, lots of tomatoes, yeah. real tomatoes. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, he was very excited one day. I remember he uh, uh, he got a an automatic uh, or a mechanized uh, tomato crusher as opposed to we've been doing it with a, a handle right. cranked one for ages. And so when he got the mechanized one, he was quite happy. Did he make the pizza? He didn't make pizza. He didn't make pizza. <laughs> okay. He made pasta. He made, uh, mm -hmm. he made sauce. So what interested you in pizza? Uh, I've always loved food. I've always loved food. And um, uh, pizza is just accessible to everyone. Mm. You know, uh, it's uh, it, it, from, from the highest level of society to the base. It's, it's fantastic and uh, or, or it's, it's very approachable to everyone. Sure and there's thin crust and fat crust and greasy and not so greasy and all of that but you are uh, into Neapolitan. Yes. What is that? Neapolitan pizza is, uh, is what I consider the original pizza. Or it's what, it, it is the original pizza. Uh, it's very simple and in its simplicity it's, it's very pure. So, the, uh, so the, there's the dough which is uh, just basically flour, uh, yeast, water, salt. Uh, the sauce is is just tomatoes and salt. There's no uh, there's no cooking down of it until it gets onto the pizza. Okay, oregano or anything in it? Just tomato. Just tomato. Just mm. tomato, and that's uh, that's what makes it taste so fresh. And the flour has to be special flour. It's a Caputo uh, double zero flour. Of course, uh, it is. Uh, double zero is a um, uh, is a, a screen, a mesh mm. that it uh, it gets ground down to that size. It's almost like a, a talcum powder. It's very very fine. So caputo flour, real t uh, tomatoes, just tomatoes, mm -hmm. and what goes on top? We're uh, in Naples we'll put, now, uh, aren't we? We'll put yes, exactly. Okay. We'll put uh, fior de latte, um, which fior is de latte, a, which fior is... de latte, which is like a mozzarella. It's a fresh mozzarella. It's uh, it's something that you'd uh, it's in a ball. It's not what you would see in a brick sort of cheese. Right. Um, uh, from the tomatoes, cows, buffaloes. There's there's fior de latte is from cows, and then there's buffalo mozzarella, and that's another acceptable mm -hmm. form, uh, which is fantastic on on pizza as well. Okay. Yeah. So what did you make one yourself yes. the first time, or did you hire someone to make one? The first time I had a Neapolitan pizza was mm -hmm. in uh, 1991. I went down to uh, I went to Italy uh, and uh, went to Capri, which is just off yeah. the coast of. Uh, I've been to Capri. Yes. Yeah, um, I could live there. Yeah, not bad. Eh? Not bad. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, and it was there that I, I noticed the the flavors that were so mm -hmm. authentic and real and pure and pure. Yeah. Not not something that's uh, been made somewhere else and then you know then right. prepared and given. Um, then uh, fast forward to back to Canada, um, uh, I guess about five years ago, I was at a place in Calgary that had Neapolitan pizza. I really liked it. I enjoyed the, the experience there and yeah. I thought, wow, this is fantastic. Then I made my way to Vancouver and, uh, and looked around at the food scene and, and realized 
But what I could do for Vancouver was bring Neapolitan pizza. Mm -hmm. In search of Neapolitan pizza, were you entrepreneurial? Had you started another business? Did you have any idea what you were doing in the restaurant biz? Uh, I had worked in restaurants. I had uh, I'd been in business. Um, worked in my father's business mm. for many years. Okay, um, was that in the food business? That was not in the food business at all. Not in the food all. business. No, no. What did waste, he do? He was in waste management. Waste management. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Not your. Well, not, well, maybe it is that much fun, but obviously for you, your passion, passion is food. was in another direction. Yeah, yeah, it's more creating food and, sure. and uh, uh, bringing a, a wonderful plate to someone. Okay, so uh, you put it all together, and I'm sure you have to do it from scratch, or your people have to do it from scratch, and mm -hmm. you throw it in the air. Do you throw it in the air? Uh, there are a couple of guys that are quite Good talented. Good at that? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then the oven. Tell me about the oven. The oven the other is, secret. The oven is a brick oven. It's it's wood fired, and it gets up to 905 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, 905. 905. That's what we're aiming for. Ooh. Um, and that allows us to get the pizza in and out in under 90 seconds. Um, it's it, because it's so thin. Because the the, the mm. toppings are on in a in a judicious manner. Um, it cooks very, very quickly. 90 seconds. 90 seconds. Well, at 900 degrees, I guess you have to get it out after exactly. 90 seconds. It would be uh, rather yes. crisp. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So you say the secret, and this is so beautiful, you don't want to touch it, but we will later. <laughs> uh, soft center, what does that mean? Um, the, the dough was pliable. You could actually take that pizza, fold it in half, or fold it in thirds. Right. Um, they call that uh, libretto style, a uh, little book. And, and that's how you would eat it, say, on the street, um, if you were to, to take it and walk. Well, certainly how they do it in Naples or in Capri or whatever, they just fold it over and fold it that and kind of it. thing. They certainly don't use a knife and a fork. No, no. <laughs> no. We've got the knife and the fork at the restaurant just, uh, mm -hmm. well, it, it would be But if you really want to be a smart Italian at your <laughs> restaurant, uh, you just fold it over. You just fold it over it, or, or tear it. Do you tear cut it? it? Absolutely. Or whatever you want. Whatever you feel like doing. Mm -hmm. uh, I tear into it. Or fold it. it. It depends on uh, on my sure. mood. Sure. Well, I've had the privilege of being at your restaurant a couple of times and uh, tried almost every one. Not the dessert pizza. Ah. What's on that? Uh, that's uh, figs, honey, uh, powdered sugar, and some uh, gorgonzola cheese. So, but that's only we don't have that on the menu right now. That's in the okay. winter. Okay. That's in the winter. Yeah. But in the summer, uh, do you have a fave? Do I have a fave? I love the pizza margarita. That's what we've got here. Which is. Uh, tomatoes, uh, tomato sauce, cheese, and basil, mm -hmm. and that is named after Queen Margarita. Okay. And um, uh, that was created for her to uh, introduce her to pizza. So she tried it and loved it. Really? And that's how pizza became acceptable in the upper classes. Well, who knew? Yeah. You knew. I knew. You did a little research. <laughs> uh, are there, uh, there's a fungi, a uh, mushroom, mm -hmm. what else? Artichoke? Uh, there's a capricciosa, which, is, uh, which has mushroom, ham, uh, artichoke. Is the ham necessarily cooked on top or is it added after? It's added after. That's it's how added it, after. It, we, the only thing that actually goes into the oven would be uh, the pizza with the sauce and the cheese and, uh, and then mushrooms, mm -hmm. I believe, are the or or anchovies, right? Uh, depending on the pizza, but besides that, we don't. The meats aren't cooked because they're already um, mm -hmm. they're already pre-done. Sure, you know they're, sure, they're, cured. Like the, the prosciutto is cured, the mm -hmm. the ham is cured. Yeah. So the pizza's hot and the meat's cold, essentially. Well, cool. Cool. Not cold, cool. but cool because that's the whole idea. Uh, do all and the pizzas have cheese? Uh, one pizza, the. Um, um, Napolitana doesn't have cheese. The, no, the marinara doesn't have cheese. Sorry, mm. the Napolitana does. Okay, so just tomato sauce and tomato and sauce, lovely... tomato sauce, uh, dough, and and garlic, uh, mm. and a little oregano as well comes mm. on the the marinara. Do you have a most popular one? The margarita. The margarita Absolutely. is the most popular for yeah. everybody who comes in. Followed by the the diavola. Not. What's that one? It's a. It's like. Um, this is not a test, but. No, no. no <laughs> okay, what's it's, on that one? It would be comparable to a mm. pepperoni pizza. It's. It's. Uh, it has uh, spicy soppressata on it, and and a, an in-house right. chili oil that okay. we make. Did you go to pizza school? I did. You did. Yes, in in uh, California. 
<laughs> or Marina Del Rey. Marina Del Rey, there's a pizza school. Absolutely. So you could bring it all back. I have a suspicion you'll probably expand. Yes. Is that in the works? We're working on, on, uh, on a, a spot right next door to us, uh, a, a similar concept. Uh, not pizza, but Italian. Okay, because I know there's lineups. Yes. So you have to yes. time it right. Yes. Well, that's mm -hmm. a, there are lineups, and we like to be able to serve everyone. And, uh, sure. Yeah. Well, that's a good thing. Yes. When you're in the restaurant biz, yes. you have a lineup. Exactly. Why not? Thank you for this. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. And away we go with Bill McKaig at Nickley Antica on Cordova. Yes.